zero 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 one 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 zero one and if both are one then we are getting zero xor gate its two table is when both the input is zero the output will be zero zero one it is one one zero it is one and if both the input is same that is one one the output will be zero a x or b equal to a bar b plus a b bar this is the mathematical expression for xor gate to make this with transistor we need or gate combination here we will provide a here we will provide b this is the output led so this is the or gate combination with transistor and we need and gate combination this is the and gate combination and this is or gate combination in between these two circuit we need another transistor its emitter will be connected to the ground this collector will be connected to here we have to connect this to plus 5 volt we have to connect a resistor and then it will be connected to the base of the transistor its value is 10 kilo ohms 220 ohms 220 ohms 220 ohms and in between the base of the transistor and the input we have to connect 10 kilo ohm resistor and a switch so it will be like this we have a switch and then a 10 kilo ohm resistor and then it is the base of the transistor so this is the circuit you can use any kind of npn transistor i'm using bc548 now we'll see the working of this circuit when both are zero it is zero it is zero this a0 b0 a0 b0 so this four transistor are working as open circuit so there is no chance to glow this led because here it is ground and as it is open circuit this both so it is disconnected the negative pin is disconnected from the ground so this is how it is zero when one input is active either a or b then one transistor are working as closed circuit let's say a is activated so this pin that is the negative pin of the led is connected up to here so till this we can clearly see that this negative pin is connected up to this and as this base of the transistor is already connected to this so this 5 volt is activating this transistor as it is now working as closed circuit so this point is connected to the ground so in this condition this negative pin is connected to ground so as a result we are getting output high let's say both are activated means this both transistor are working as closed circuit now this pin is connected up to here but when both are activated then this two transistor also be activated now these two transistor are working as closed circuit now this point is connected to the ground so there is no chance to current flow through this because it can directly go to the ground so as a result this transistor is working as open circuit as a result this point is disconnected from the ground so for that this led is disconnected from the ground so as a result we will get output as low so this is how this circuit works now we'll see this on the breadboard putting two switches one pin is connected to the plus 5 volt to see the input i'm connecting this led putting the transistor base is connected with 10 kilo ohms resistor this two will be our AND gate and this two will be our OR gate this emitter is connected to the ground its collector is connected with plus 5 volt through 220 ohms resistor AND gate is completed this collector will be connected to here its emitter is connected to the ground collector is connected to plus 5 volt through 220 ohms both the emitter and both the collectors are connected it will be output LED the positive pin is connected to plus 5 volt through 220 ohms resistor this collector is connected to this emitter input A it is also A 
input B and also with this connecting both the positive and negative rail head is negative and is 5 volt positive 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 and if both are 1 then we are getting 0 so this is how you can make XOR gate using transistor thanks for watching